Hi everybody, this is Aksana in this video. We're going to be wrapping up this little teardrop shape faceted Swarovski crystal. So if you want to see how to make this pendant, just keep watching. So for our base wire, we're going to be using some 20 gauge square copper. Mine is from RioGrande.com. It looks like this. And then we're also going to be using this thinner um, half round wire. This is 24 gauge for making little connections. And the piece of square wire that I cut is about 12 inches long and then we're also going to be using a little faceted Swarovski crystal which is 14 millimeters tall and it's a little teardrop shape like this. So the first thing that we're going to do with our 20 gauge wire is we're going to bring the ends of it together essentially folding it in half and then here on the bottom where we have our middle of our wire we're going to try and make like just a little small loop and we want it to be kind of the perfect size for our teardrop to sit in like this so if I look at it there's a little gap up here so that tells me that this portion is fine in terms of like how wide it is but down he up here I need to bring it a little closer together so then I'm gonna check again there now it's perfect so now that we've established that we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our wires here where they kind of come together we're gonna put a bend into the wires so just be careful because it's square wire so it's got like flat edges and rounded edges so if it's not um, like this bottom wire that I did was fine but this one I need to kind of grab and turn it a little bit to get the flat edge of it facing me otherwise it's just gonna be like a corner of the wire I'm trying to keep the um, flat edges of the square wire kind of up together so that it's easier to work with. So once you've made this loop and you've brought the other, the two wires together like this, what we want to do now is we're going to grab our half round wire and we're going to wrap around this to form our bale. So first I'm grabbing the little tail end of my wire just so I can attach it. And then I'm just going to slide it down. And then because this wire is connected to the spool, you can't wrap it around and around it'll get twisted so I'm just guiding it with one hand and with the other hand I'm twisting the piece and that kind of winds the wire around these two base wires and so you just want to go for a little bit because this is going to be your bale and however tall you need your bale to be so once you've gone a little ways up and you think this is tall enough to be your bale, I'm just trimming off the ends and it doesn't matter which side as long as it's both on the same side. And then we're just going to grab our pliers and just press down on that. Press down those little wire ends like this. Okay, so the wire ends are going to be on the inside of the bale. So have them face you and start folding this little bale. Start folding this down into a bale shape. 
then you want to open up these little things here and this next part might be easier with the stone in there so if I pop the stone in here I'm kind of squishing that bale there so that it's not so wide that there's like tons of space around the stone or anything. So it's looking like this and it's trapping kind of the top of my stone a little bit there. So what we want to do now is we're going to take these wires, here they are in the front, we're going to take them and we're going to bring them to the back. I'll show you more clearly in one second. So here's the front. You can see the wires are bending towards the back. And then here, this is our back. So what you want the wires to do on the back is just push on it with your finger making kind of a curve like this because we want them to meet up here and we want this to be the middle of the bottom of our stone so here's what that looks like on the back and on the front I have to hold it upside down so the stone doesn't fall out, but here's what that looks like. All right, so if we remove the stone, we need to make connections now with a thinner wire. Here's my 24 gauge half round wire that I used on the bale. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it here through this big loop and it's just kind of going underneath and I'm not going to bring it all the way down I'm going to bring it like halfway so that I have a long piece of it on each side so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that wire and I'm going to make a wrap connecting those two there like this so here's my connection and you can press down on this little half round wire kind of pinch it down a little so these two wires are connected now I'm gonna take that same wire here it is and I'm gonna wrap it around these two on the other side just gonna pull on it to bring that closer together so I'm going to bring it through. So we've made two little wraps now. And before I trim this wire or get rid of this wire, I'm going to wrap it around a single wire to give it more um, chance that it's not going to unravel. So I'm just going to wrap it around about three times just around this wire here in the back like that so I'm just gonna take my um, cutters my wire cutters there and trim that then I'm gonna grab the little end and push that down to get rid of it Alright, so this side is connected, the wire is finished and trimmed, now we just have this. So what we're going to do here, this side is connected, we need to connect these two wires. So before I connect them, I'm going to make sure that they are just kind of nicely lined up with the flat edges of them. Kind of facing me there I'm 
So I'm just going to grab this wire and I'm going to start wrapping it. And I'm just going to wrap it a few times like this just to make sure I have a nice connection in those wires are grouped together. So then here, this is our front now. On the front, we're going to trim off so that the little wire end of that is here on the front because we're going to bend it up and when we bend it up, it's going to go up against the stone and then you won't see the wire end. So we're going to take our stone, going to slide it back in here how it was before. So here's the back of it, the stone on the back, and then if I just hold it upside down again, here's the front. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to bend it forward, bending it forward onto the stone like this. And what we're going to do now is we're going to separate these two wires and we're going to bend them. We're going to just bend them one to each side. Let me zoom in a little bit. I mean, zoom out. <laughs> so try and keep it nice and symmetrical as you bend them. Let me look from the front here. Okay. So I'm just bending it from the front to the back like this. And with my other one, just trying to get it to go in the same exact spot so it looks symmetrical. There we go. That looks good. Here's what we have so far. So I'm going to take this first wire and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap it around my bail like this and then I'm going to grab my cutters. I'm going to leave myself a little end here so that I can take this little end and I'm just going to push that in. Push that little end in there and just squish it down. And with this other wire, I'm going to place it here right above that little wrap that we made. And then um, it's easier if you cut it a little bit shorter. So I'm just going to cut it a little bit shorter because I'm trying to bring it through the bail. So I'm grabbing it and bringing it through the bail, just kind of pulling it out. And then as I bring it through the bale, it's kind of going around and around and then here. I'm just going to squish things this way. There we go. So I'm just going to trim that and take my round nose pliers and make a curve or a swirl rather sorry make a swirl here with this little end of our wire to finish that off let me just adjust our little swirl Press down on it a little bit. Perfect. And there we have 
our little pendant, our little crystal pendant. So here is the finished piece, and here's one that I made earlier that I already oxidized the copper. So you can see, and it's a different color stone. I think this bale's a little bit taller. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.